Namaste, welcome to 10 Minute Yoga Vibe Energizer. So we're starting again sitting in Sukhasana. So easy cross-leg position. After years, I was like, oh, I don't find it easy, but it's more about finding a sense of ease. And keep in mind that this is a pose, and like any other pose, it takes practice. So you may notice I am sitting on a bolster because if I was to sit on the floor, my knees would be kind of like up around here. So you, you ideally want a position, ideally you want your knees level with your hips. Mine aren't quite, but they're, you know, if I was sat on the floor, they'd be a lot higher. So use blocks or cushions, whatever you need. Then you're gonna bring one foot across and try and bring it across. So rather than crossing at the ankles, try and bring the foot across so you're aiming for it to be kind of level with the other hip. And the shin is parallel to the front of the mat rather than tucking that foot in. Then do the same with the other leg. So we're aiming for a kind of, almost like a seated pigeon position. Feet flexed, so you start to feel a stretch in your outer hips. So you can pull your butt cheeks back, you can use more blocks, so we're not here for too long, but so just remember that this is a pose, uh, and just like any other pose, sometimes it'd be easy, sometimes it'd be not so easy. Try and lift up nice and tall, out of the waist, but without, without tensing the shoulders. Relax the hands for a second, just close the eyes for a moment, so we're not here for long at all. So just close your eyes, Breathe, simply noticing how you're feeling right this moment. Take a full, deep, nourishing breath in. And let it go. So you can sigh it out if you like, or just exhale through the nose. Get yeah, one more nice, deep breath in. Really expand your lungs. Let it go. Our breathing can affect our energy and our mood. So, if you want more energy, we need to breathe more efficiently. So, bringing your hands on to your knees, and we're going to start off with a Sufi grind. So, you're going to imagine drawing a circle with your ribs. We inhale forward, exhale around, breathing in and out in and out. Now don't worry if your variation doesn't look exactly like mine, it's okay. You can imagine drawing a circle around your tailbone or you can imagine being in a jar or a tunnel and you're kind of scraping the inside of the jar with your ribs. Just try and relax because it's when we go, oh, I don't know if I'm doing it right, I feel really silly. That's when it becomes really kind of like wooden and doesn't feel good. So whenever we work on the spine, we're working on the whole system, because obviously the central nervous system runs down the length of the spine. So it's a really good way to get the energy flowing. I'm just going to change direction. In and out. If you need to go a little bit slower, you can go a little bit slower. And coming back to center. And just kind of interlink the hands and do a little twirly welly with the hands to start to wake up the wrists a little bit more. And then go back the other way, which never quite seems to be <laughs> as fluid. And just shake out the hands and come onto your hands and knees. Hands under the shoulders, knees about hip width apart. Maybe bring your toes together, press down into the whole hand. And we're gonna sink back to your heels, going over to the right, and then bring your hips forward and back and around. Then we inhale forward, 
exhale back and around and see if you can make it kind of like a almost a lazy movement think of like water fluidity really waking up your spine listening to your own inner tuition you can go faster you can go slower yeah, tune into what feels good for you today. You can make the movement smaller if you wish. And we're going to change direction and go round the other way. Maybe noticing how one direction feels compared to the other. To separate your knees but tuck your your feet sorry and tuck your toes under stretch out your toes and we're gonna inhale drop the belly look slightly forward and exhale tuck the tailbone under draw the chin to the chest inhale tailbone lifts heart forward exhale arching up so flexing the spine forward and back keeping the toes tucked to stretch them out and just making it a little bit quicker a little bit more dynamic but without kind of just throwing the body around just to let's say get the energy flowing inhale exhale you exhale sit back into a kind of like a child's pose variation inhale forward exhale lift up and back into child's pose onto your heels in and out and in and out then inhale forward into a cat flex and exhale, sit back to your heels, bring your ears in alignment with your arms and lift the hips into a down face dog. Then lower the knees, inhale, drop the belly, heart forward. Exhale, sit back, keep that little tilt, sit back to your heels, lift your hips nice and high, open up the backs of the knees. Now lower the knees, drop the belly, heart forward. Exhale, sitting back. Again, bring your ears in alignment with your arms, hips nice and high. Inhale, lower the knees. Forward, heart forward, belly drops. Exhale, lift up and back into down face dog. Inhale, lower the knees. This time, release the hands and come up into like a camel variation. So press the elbows back lift through your heart as if you've got a bit of string on the front of your sternum gives your hands a bit of a rest as well push the hips forward squeeze your booty lift and open through the heart i tend to keep my head my chin in a neutral position here that's just personal preference and then release come back down Bring the hands down, stretch out into that child's pose variation, still keeping the toes tucked. Again, press into the hands, lift, open up the hips, into down face dog. Lift your left heel, press into the ball of the foot, push the right heel into the floor. Then switch, lift your right heel, press into the ball of the foot, press your left heel towards the floor. And press both heels down. Bend your knees, start to walk your feet towards your hands. 
feet a little bit wider than hip width. Soften the knees, curl halfway up, bring your hands onto your thighs, fingers on the inside, drop the hips down, keeping the arms straight. Inhale, standing cat. Lift tailbone half forward. Exhale, tuck tailbone under. Breathing in and out. In and out. Then roll all the way up to standing. Bring your thumb and index fingers together into Gyan Mudra. Reach the arms up, breathe in. As you breathe out, pull the left knee up, arms down, inhale, stretch. Exhale, right knee. Breathing in and out, in and out. too long. So see if you can speed it up a little bit. So it becomes almost like a breath of fire. Shake it out, shake it all out. Awesome. Then bring your thumb and index finger together again in Gyan Mudra. Bring your hands, let your shoulders, feet a little bit wider than hip width. Breathe in as you breathe out, stretch up and over. Inhale, center. Exhale, over the other side. And breathing it out through the nose. So on that exhale, really cannonball the breath out. And these exercises are about getting the energy flowing. It's not about making a perfect pose. So you can close your eyes if that feels okay to do so. Take a nice full deep breath in and out. And just turn the feet out just a tiny little bit. Soften the knees a little bit. Again, bring your hands into Gyan Mudra. Arms out to the side. Inhale, twist left. Exhale, right. And keep the arms level with your shoulders, close your eyes if you can, if it feels okay to do so, or just focus on the tip of the nose. As always, obviously, if you ever start to feel a bit dizzy, then go a little bit slower. Inhale to center, exhale to the side, if you need to. back in a little bit. One thing I've noticed, I don't know if you've noticed, there seem to be either a lot of either really tiny butterflies or a lot of moths that are around you in the day. I always thought moths were around during the uh, evening, but there seems to be a lot of like really tiny, either the tiny butterflies or the strange moths, I don't know, just a little side note. <laughs> and this time, last exercise, bring your hands to your heart space. And you're going to inhale, reach the arms up. As you exhale, you're going to come down into a squat, just as low as you can. Inhale, reach up. 
Exhale down. Just 30 seconds. is finding that little acupressure point. Close your eyes and take a few nice deep breaths. Feel that energy flowing around your body. <sighs> Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands down, hands to heart. Take a little bow to seal your practice. And you're ready to rock the rest of your day or whatever it is you're about to do. Mwah! Maybe don't do this just before bed. It might be a little bit too energizing. Just a you know, thought.